Hi, how you doing? It's me, Domingo Ayala. Today, I want to talk about the coach blame. You ever play with a guy who not do nothing wrong? It's always the coach's fault? Hey, man, I'm only hitting a buck 20 because Mr. Coach is messing with my swing. That's only why. Man, you know I only make that air because Mr. Coach had me feel the ball like this, man. How you supposed to feel the ball like this? He not even play the infield. The only reason I give up a 500 foot bomb is because Mr. Coach called the wrong pitch. He not even know what he's doing. He never caught pitches before. Come on, man. You're right. It is a coach fault. But not for trying to fix your swing or telling you to feel a certain way or calling that pitch. It's his fault for putting you in the game because you're terrible and you're a baby. He should have known better. You know, maybe if you're not batting a buck 20, Mr. Coach is not going to try to fix your swing. And maybe if you not throw an 80 mile per hour meatball, the hitter not going to hit it 500 feet. Don't blame Mr. Coach. Then the coach blamers start talking about how he used to bat 400 and now he's batting 220 and it's because Mr. Coach changed his swing. No, man. It's because you're actually facing good pitching now. Get over yourself. You see, when you get to a higher level, you're not facing the semi-pro pitcher that you get all your hits off of. You're facing the good pitchers that you never get a hit off of. Then you do something good and you don't give no credit to Mr. Coach. You only give credit to Mr. Coach when you do something bad. You can't pick and choose. You can't blame Mr. Coach for you doing something bad and not give him no credit when you do something good. That's just selfish, man. If you blame him for something bad, you gotta credit him for something good. But that's never gonna happen because you're never gonna be a good player. Because you're a coach blamer. So next time you're about to blame Mr. Coach for you being a bad player, understand. It's not Mr. Coach popping out to shortstop. That's you, my friend. And it's not Mr. Coach serving up a cookie to the hitters. That's you, coach blamers. They're all over the place. Watch out for them. Oh yeah, the second at bat when I strike out, yeah, that's because of Mr. Coach. But the, uh, the third at bat when I hit the double, yeah, that was on me. I just didn't listen to Mr. Coach.